Native Explorers, it's a summer program developed by a college professor to get Native students more interested in science. We were there as Cherokee students braved the scorching New Mexican desert, digging for fossils and inspiration. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> This is the first time I've camped like this ever. Oh. <laughs> it's a little freaky, we're used to storms from Oklahoma, but um, nothing where you can see it all at one place, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we are uh, always exploring our native cultures out here for Native Explorers. So today we're gonna look at a Cherokee word. Our Cherokee word of the day today is cat, which is pronounced Waysa. So we're driving across the desert and Waysa, a cat, across the road. <laughs> Rock 1033, the native. Thank you very much. My name is Kent Smith. I'm an associate dean for the Office for the Advancement of American Indians in Medicine and Science at Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences, and I'm a professor of anatomy. As a Native American, I was a little disappointed. You know, why are there not more people, more Native people in the in the STEM fields and in medicine? So, Native Explorers was was born. So the students learn about ecology, they learn about botany, they learn about geology, they learn a lot about anatomy. Two big hooks for Native explorers is medicine. A lot of people are interested in medicine and helping people, but also fossils. Here in New Mexico, the fossils are as young as two million years old or as old as maybe four million years old. As you're going down this arroyo to the bottom, you can see that there's several dozen places where we found fossils, including part of a giant land tortoise. My name's Kelsey Bandy, and I go to St. Gregory's University in Shawnee, Oklahoma. If you've never hiked before, it was a shock, like kind of like a cultural shock in a way. We went about like four days without showers, and I mean, that's what you do when, you know, you're, get, you're getting the opportunity of a lifetime out there. You're not, not everybody's gonna get to go out there and dig for fossils. My name is Emma Kincaid and I'm a Native Explorers participant. The first couple days we drove up here, it was more of a bonding experience. I've never been west of Oklahoma other than once and it was for a riding trip. Um, I want to practice occupational therapy for Cherokee Nation. Uh, my undergraduate studies are in speech pathology and then I want to eventually get my master's in occupational therapy and work in pediatrics. I think last night was the first night that I really just got to sit down and think about how vast the landscape actually is and how much respect it deserves. One of the biggest things I've learned as a Native person is to be a good steward of the land and I don't feel like I can truly do that without being out here and learning more about what there is to protect and what there is to rejuvenate. All these fragments, there's one by your knee, these are all bone. So we're, in the, we're getting in the right layer. That fossil that you can see right there is the first one that I've seen that I can actually identify that we're going to collect and, and record data on. So we're looking at the main part of the support structure for the, this three, little three-toed horse called Nanippus, N-A-N-N-I-P-U-S. And this group called the three-toed horses, this is the youngest one known anywhere in the world. So right before the beginning of the Ice Age, and that's when these guys had their last hurrah and they disappeared. We actually stumbled upon a land tortoise that was native here. And we started to see like almost an entire piece of a shell coming together. And when you start finding pieces um, by removing the earth and looking for specifically the colors of um, material that they tell you to and look for the pores and the different um, striations, then you start to learn more about um, the animal itself. So that was neat to actually finally feel the fossil and put it together. Kind of a nasty way to t tell if they're bones or not. What you do is you kind of you lick them actually and they stick to your tongue and that's how you can tell the difference between a rock and a bone. So that one, just by looking at it, you kind of think it's going to be one of your long bones. But Nick, who's one of the professors here with us, actually told me it's actually the end of a rib. 
Native Explorers goes beyond the classroom. We're on a real scientific dig, an expedition where fossils are collected, rocks are looked at, measured, identified. This information builds a story uh, of the past so that we can present it at present to these students. This is our seventh expedition. We've had nearly 70 students participate. We've had hundreds apply from across the country. I'm a biomedical science major. I would like to go to med school and become a family care physician and possibly rural Oklahoma or anywhere that's like underserved and they need help. That combination of community of Native students and the excitement and hunger everyone has to learn for science um, together is just all feeding our own creativity and innovation and ideas and we're all just jotting down in our notebooks and getting excited about learning about science of all things. So. These are for you because you requested them, okay? Yes. She wanted to hear about Deer Woman because nobody in Osage County will talk to her about Deer Woman. <laughs> the camaraderie that's built, the lifelong relationships that they're building, people that they've met from across the country or even across the town of Norman, people they didn't know. I think it's a lot to take in, but I think that what I have taken in is probably one of the most exciting experiences I've ever had.